Hi guys, it's Shami. So today we are going to make these beautiful clay charms. And I got this idea from Lori Richardson Haley. She has a great YouTube channel, very inspirational. Um, but she made these clay charms and I wanted to make them too. So what I have here is some Reynolds wrap. I get this from the dollar store. And what I do is I take one of their sheets and I just tear it in half. And then I make a heart shape. Okay. And these are super fun to make. They're like little charms. So you just kind of make a rough heart shape. And um, you can, you know, make it as compact as you want. Just make a heart shape. You can make other shapes too. But I really love the heart. And they look so pretty when they're hanging up in your window. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Like so. Okay. And then you're going to take clay. Here I'm using air dry clay. Um, just because it's super cheap, you can get it a big container like this at Walmart for like $6. And um, you don't have to bake it. You just let them dry for a couple days. And they're perfectly fine. Um, they will have cracks in them, just so you don't freak out. And that's okay, because we're covering it with beautiful paper from Mulberry Paper and more. So all I'm doing is just pinching the clay. Um, just to make it fairly thin. You could roll it out if you wanted to, but I wouldn't even bother with that because you want these to look um, not perfect. Um, they're supposed to be very natural and organic, um, and they're just supposed to be fun. So just kind of grab your clay and make them, you know, a little wonky, which is good in art, I think. Sometimes we can be concentrated on being so perfect that we kind of miss the fun of a project, but these are perfect. For that um, yeah and just form as many hearts as you want I was so inspired when I saw this project and then I got some more paper um, from mulberry paper and more their mommy paper which is a, a paper from Thailand that's marbled and it has metallics in it oh my gosh it's so pretty so I thought that would be perfect to decoupage onto these clay hearts so thank you mulberry and paper and more for for your making, for getting your beautiful paper um, to use in this project. It's so pretty in this project. And you don't need paints or anything because the paper is so beautiful by itself. And it's super cheap. I mean, I hope you go check out their website. They have really good prices. You can get it for a couple of dollars. You get a big, a, quite a big sheet. And it doesn't take very much to do. So once you have it all covered, so just make sure no aluminum foil is showing. You're going to take a skewer and you're going to make a hole. Now you can make a hole two ways. This way, okay, so you just puncture through the aluminum, or you can also make it this way too, okay? So whichever way you want, okay? And then after that, you're just going to let them dry for a couple days or for a day is usually how long it takes, and um, then you'll be ready to go on to the next step. Now the next step is you're gonna grab your Momi paper, or whichever paper you decide to use. I really love the handmade papers. Look at how pretty that is. Look at these strips, aren't they gorgeous? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna rip them into small pieces, like that. Okay, and then you're gonna decoupage them onto the dried hearts which I have a couple here that are dried. So this is what they look like when they're dry. They have cracks in them, as I said, but they're pretty durable, okay? So just take your paintbrush and just brush on um, with your decoupage glue or even glue and water would work too. For these, I really don't like the glossy um, kind of um, matte medium, matte medium or um, deco page glue or Mod Podge, I really like the matte, not the glossy, because it just gives it a more beautiful finish. The paper is so beautiful that I don't think it needs the shine. So let me show you here. So this is one that's matte and this is one that's glossy. I like the one that's matte a little bit better. And that one's matte also. Isn't that pretty? Okay guys, so I'm just going to decoupage these with my mommy with my mummy paper um, pieces and then I'll do one side and then I'll turn over and do the other side. I'm going to fast forward through that part and I'll come back and we will make the hangers and decorate our beautiful hearts. So keep watching.
right guys so they're all dry so now we're going to do some decorating these are some handmade roses that I made I have a tutorial on that I'll link below um, with the handmade paper from mulberry and more.com they're really pretty so I want to use some of these um, to decorate my beautiful charms okay so what I have here is a piece of burlap and what I do is I like to just use uh, one string so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie a bow so you just take it and you do your bunny ears I was having trouble before so <laughs> I had to remind myself how to do bunny ears and you're just gonna put it through and make a little bow like that and I do have some tacky glue um, that makes it really easy to measure and I'm just gonna straighten it up until I get kind of the bow that I like and we're gonna work with this one first okay so I have some that I already tied and right here in the center I am gonna put a dab of glue a nice big dab actually and I'm gonna put one of my bows here and then another one of my bows here and I love using burlap it's so pretty I saw Haley use it and um, it's so beautiful and then I have these handmade flowers that I made and I love to make my own supplies if I can now you're gonna take it and you can trim it if you'd like so just grab some scissors and you can trim it and you're just gonna set that aside to dry really really well now if you have one that has a hole in the center like this one then you just want to not put anything over that hole so maybe just put the flower below if that makes sense okay let's do this one too okay so again we're just going to and you can decorate it with whatever you want I mean you could use metal charms and that would be pretty um, just kind of whatever you have lying around from Happy Meal or from your stash I mean you could really go crazy and you know make these heavily embellished um, I'm not going to choose to do that just because I really love wire and beads and I am going to use some sari yarn um, so and I think that's probably enough for me but you could definitely go as crazy as you want with these now I'm going to pick a flower that I think would go well there I saw a blue one or maybe white this white one's pretty let's put the white one there isn't that pretty so that's how they look so you'll just let them dry you trim off the edges again all right now if you want to hang these while I'm here and then I'll do the wire wrapping in the next part um, I have this one that has a nice big hole in it so if I want to make a hanger like this one what I'll do let me just scoot over my flowers here is I'll grab a couple of beads now for this I love the European beads and I had a couple here somewhere I might have to grab some more okay Just have one. okay there we go okay and then you're gonna grab some of your sari ribbon I get this on eBay or Etsy it's like ten dollars and you get tons and tons of it okay and you're gonna take it and what we're going to do is we're going to thread it through that hole okay so it can be a little tricky but we'll put one end in like that first and I have to remember which which side I put in first I have to do another but it's just like fiddling with it it just takes a little bit of time Alrighty, and I think I have enough to go through one end okay now if you wanted to you could hang it like this just like that which I love and that's what I'm gonna do okay and then you're gonna put it through your beads okay so you just take your beads and I use the bigger beads um, the European beads work great for this um, just because they have a nice big hole and I think I got these beads from Panda Hall. But you can find them at, you know, Michael's. Um, just use your coupon. And you get a few strands of them. Or eBay has a lot of great sellers too that sell European beads that are pretty cheap too. And a lot of times on eBay, what I love is that if it's overseas, mostly they do free shipping, which is awesome. Take it and we're gonna put this other end too. So I just use a skewer. Um, just to put the ribbon in and you're going to just create a little hanger 
and you could absolutely use regular ribbon for this and that would work too but I really love the sari um, silk ribbon um, it's my favorite thing to use for all sorts of things I make jewelry with it bracelets I mean it's so fun so see then you can just hang it from your window isn't that pretty and this is the green one that I made right and that's ready to go I wouldn't add any wiring or anything to that okay so we're gonna let these dry and for these I'm just gonna put the wire through and just create a hanger kind of like this okay and I will put a link to this one that I which I think is this one that I made on camera okay and then we are going to do some wire wrapping so I'm going to let those dry and then we'll come okay, back okay guys so now we're going to do some wire wrapping so I just have just a selection of beads here and I do my wire wrapping a little different but you can definitely look up some tutorials on YouTube if you don't like the way that I do it okay but what I do is I'm going to take this and I might have to use my skewer to go through a little bit but we're just going to kind of thread the wire through um, which can be a little tricky here. Just reopen those holes here. There we go. Alrighty, so I have a piece of wire and it's fairly long, but you're just going to thread it through like that, okay? And you're going to need quite a bit of wire in general, okay? So what I do is I do my wire wrapping in two different steps. So the first step I do is I'm going to make a loop for the top and the bottom, like this one, okay? And then the actual wire that I wrap around will be another step, okay? It just makes it a little easier for me. That's the way I do it, but feel free to do it however you like. Actually, is that? Okay, this is good. Okay, so we're going to just start with the top first, actually. Okay. So what I have here is I just have some corresponding beads, okay? And I'm just going to bead it on, but I'm going to start with one of my seed beads first, or a couple seed beads, just like that. And you just want to create a pretty top, basically, okay? Just like that. So see how pretty those are right now? And then we're going to put a clear bead and these are glass beads I love using glass beads for this and a big bead and then I'm going to do a small bead and another seed bead like that okay now I'm going to bring it in a little bit okay guys so I have my beads on there I just decided to make it a bigger file so you can see a little better and I'm going to leave about two inches of wire on the top here okay and then I'm going to take my round nose pliers this part can be a little tricky and I'm going to make an X with them, okay? But I want a fairly big kind of loop, okay? So do you see how it is? You see that? And it makes kind of an X if I turn it to the side. Can you see that? It's kind of an X shape, okay? And I'm going to take it and I am going to start wrapping it nice and tight. Now if you wanted to, you could use another pair of pliers here. But um, that's why I only use like the 22 cage craft wire because it's really easy to wrap with my hand. So um, when I do wire wrapping, I tend to use kind of a, a softer gauge wire, not as stiff. Okay, just like that. And we have a loop there. And it's not perfect. If you want to make a 90 degree loop, you can, and that's pretty easy. Um, but I like these to kind of look bohemian, and that's just a really simple way to make a loop. Especially for beginnings if you're just starting out with wire wrapping, but that's what we have. Okay, and then this is the part where you'll hang your sari yarn from or your ribbon or however else you're going to hang it. Okay, now let's focus on the bottom. Okay, so we're going to put some seed beads. And these are gold seed beads. I got these from the dollar, uh, from, um, where did I get them from? From Walmart. And I am going to show you another one using wire too, but that one I'll just put in fast motion. Okay, I'm going to take that. Alrighty, and we're going to add our beads onto the end. And you can make it as long or as, you know, as elaborate as you'd like. I think I'll save these kind of for the end. Okay, 
we'll put two more of the seed beads and just kind of make a design that you like. I love these. They're so beautiful. Thank you, Haley, for the inspiration. I love Haley's channel. I hope you guys check it out. She has so many great tutorials and very unique. She has a lot of um, very interesting, unique ideas. Just like that. Okay, and then we'll put one of these on the end. And I'm making it quite long because I want it to be very decorative. I want it to have like a decorative kind of tell kind of. Ready? And plus I have all this wire. I overcut okay so I'm gonna do about two hmm. well actually I can do it a little bit more okay so actually this will work fine okay and I'm just talking to myself because I want to make it a little bit more structured so it's not as flimsy okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off we're gonna cut this down to like two inches or maybe three Okay, just like that. Okay, and we're gonna do the exact same thing. Okay, so we're gonna come here and we're gonna make a nice loop. Okay, and I don't wanna make it too small because I might wanna put a dangle or something there. And I just made my X and I'm going to just wrap it around. Alrighty, so if you wanted to, you could stop here and it would still be really pretty, but. And you know, if you have a little bit access that you can't get down, then you'll take your flat nose pliers and you'll just kind of squish it down. Or you can trim and squish. I think I will trim and squish. And then I can just squish that down. And I can straighten up my loop if I need to. And as I said, you can make a 90 degree um, angle and make a really beautiful loop. But I don't mind. I love how beautiful and natural these look. Okay, so now we're going to do our wire wrapping. And as I said, I do my wire wrapping in two steps. So you see, it's a little bit flimsy, okay? And this will help that too. Okay, so again, I'm going to get another piece of wire. I'm going to grab one that doesn't have as many kinks though. And I'm going to get quite a long piece because I'm going to be wire wrapping, okay? So maybe about, maybe eight or nine inches would be perfect. But just keep in mind that you're gonna do a lot of wrapping. That's probably too short still. Alrighty, but I don't wanna use that end. And I thought I had another piece wrapped, but it got it all lost in the balls. <laughs> okay, let's see here. I just wanna give myself a lot of extra. And I really love the copper color wire for this. You could use silver and that would be great too, but I really love the copper. Okay, perfect, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start here, right at the bottom where that, you see how it's kind of flimsy? There's like a little space between the wire here, okay? And I am going to wrap that around. So again, I'm gonna take my wire and I'm gonna wrap it. And what that does is that makes this more sturdy and it creates a good base for me to start doing my wire wrapping. Plus it adds a beautiful decorative edge. Okay, just like that. And we are gonna come back down here and connect it. So just kind of keep that in mind. So now I'm gonna start my wire wrapping. So I usually start out with kind of a, an interesting shape up here. So I'm gonna add some beads, let me just, Get that kink out okay and I'm gonna add beads as I go okay just a few this is a great use for your seed beads okay and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna go like that and don't worry if it's a little loose now I go up under like that see how I'm going underneath the wire and if you guys want an in-depth tutorial on you know how I'm doing this then you can absolutely ask me and I'd be happy to just do a tutorial on that part. It's a little hard to see, I know. We're gonna add another bead and another bead, but I definitely overlap and kind of go through 
the established wire, it just creates a sturdier kind of wire wrap. So here I'm gonna go through, go around. And I think the wire really lets you know which way it wants to go. So don't like try to force it, if that makes sense. You wanna kind of let it go in whichever direction it wants to go in. We'll add another couple of seed beads here. Okay, and I can kind of look at my design and kind of see. So see, there's like an X there. Can you see that? Alrighty, so I can kind of make my wire go through there. And don't worry, we'll tighten up all the wires too and I'll show you how to do that, like that, okay? And then I think I'm gonna use one of these pretty clear ones. And I just wanna watch the length of my wire. Like I'll probably only be able to go around one more time. Um, and it'll have to be a short one because I wanna end at the bottom here. Okay, so I'll just take that around. And I'm just gonna go through and I like to put some beads on the back too. So it looks good from all angles. Alrighty, and we'll just put that through like that. Ready? And we're going to end right there. Okay. And I'm going to kind of pull everything tight and then I'm going to take it and I'm going to wrap it around that little tail part or the bottom of my little charm. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to close that out. Now, if you look at this, the wires are kind of loose, right? It kind of looks a little funny. Okay, so to tighten it up, you're gonna make kind of kinks, okay? So what you'll do is you'll just take your route, your flat nose pliers and you're going to just twist, okay? And what that does is it stabilizes your wire. Okay, see how that's looking? And it makes it nice and tight. Okay, just like that, see? So that wasn't too bad, was it? And look, the back even looks nice. It has a few beads on it and I can just make sure that that's nice and tight. So all you do is just twist and it gives it kind of more interest. Isn't that pretty? Alrighty, so that's that one. And then I did this one too. And I did this one on film, but it's kind of a mess. I was kind of tripping all over my words. So um, I think this will be better. But if you have a little edge that's sticking out, then just push it down. And as you can see from this one, it's the same thing. My loops are not perfect. They're a little bit off, but that's okay. I want this to be very natural and bohemian looking. Okay. So if you wanted to, you could get your sari ribbon and you could just stick it through and then you can hang it. Okay, and if you wanted to, you could go crazy and add lots of beautiful dangles and stuff. So now I'm gonna fast forward through and I'm gonna show you how I make these. Okay, the ones that have the little paper dolls on them, how I make them with a wire too. Okay. Okay guys, so you got to see the last little bit of the wire wrapping of how I wired wrapped this one. So you got to see a whole bunch of different things. <laughs> I guess it's not wire wrap, I just basically made loops, but isn't that pretty? So that's how that one turned out. And these are so gorgeous. Thank you so much, Lori, for the inspiration and also more bigger paper and more for this beautiful Momi paper. It's so gorgeous. I'll put a link below so you can check it out. There's so many different colors and patterns and textures um, of this type of paper that um, you definitely wanna check it out. And you're gonna be shocked at how cheap it is to buy a sheet of this stuff. It's great. So I just wanna bring it up nice and close. And as you can see, this paper is so beautiful like it looks like mixed media paper 
you know like it just has so much texture and colors just naturally so it makes it really really easy and I will put the link below if you want to learn how to make these flowers and again they're made from paper from mulberry and more.com mulberry paper and more.com isn't that pretty and these are so fun to make so I hope you make some if you do please tag me um, in the post I would love to see um, how you make yours you can also use napkins too and paint that's what Haley used um, yeah so there's definitely you can definitely make these your own but they're so pretty I'm gonna definitely sell these at craft shows and make them into gifts too and I have a few hanging in my craft room now and I just love them so it's a super fun project thank you so much for my patience hopefully you follow it along if you want me to do a wire wrapping tutorial too I can definitely do that um, I do sea glass and that kind of thing too so I love wire wrapping it's very relaxing to me actually because it's just freeing like you can make the patterns however you want there's not really a form to it you know that I do at least I'm sure there is but it's just really fun and um, fun to do okay guys so thank you so much for watching don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys on Monday have a great week bye bye and please subscribe if you haven't and share this post if you know anyone that would like it thank you